Jaguar Design Studio in Warwickshire. Um, and we're here for the our season six launch ahead of the um, ABB FIA for me championship. To win Rome felt amazing. Uh, it was a long time coming uh, since the start of the since the start of our campaign in Formula E in season three. But the whole team's worked so hard, and to finally obviously reward everyone, well, everyone that supported us uh, with a victory, and to finally taste that was was so sweet. And then on, on you know to back that up with a few more podiums. Um, and start to, to add to the trophy cabinet was, um, was really, really cool. So uh, hopefully we can build on, on more success for, for season six. Yeah, so the team's very hungry. Um, I'm very hungry to, uh, for, for more victories, more champagne on the podium, more silverware. Um, obviously that wins really sparked a lot of confidence, a lot of motivation within the team and how we finished the, the, the championship. So we just want to build on that. And, and, and we've got a great crew now. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're building, you know, we're evolving a lot, learning a lot, um, and now it's, now it's really time to put everything to practice and, and, and really hunt for those championships. So um, everyone's very determined, which is, which is nice. It's a nice environment to be in, and, you know, and I'm there to try and uh, you know, pull the pieces together and, 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 and deliver those results. So um, I'm very, very driven, and hopefully we can you know, have some good results this year. The difference between uh, the I-Type 3 and I-Type 4 is uh, basically this whole new powertrain. So underneath the, the, the hood, um, it's, it's a new look. Uh, hopefully more competitive. The, you know, so far the testing's been very, very positive. So um, we're hoping that that step we've taken is gonna be um, good enough to be you know, still fighting at the front. Uh, but the feeling feels good from a driver's point of view. It gives me good confidence, which is number one. And hopefully on top of that, um, good performance. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's got you know, come, uh, come Saudi in uh, in a few weeks' time. The race I'm looking forward to the most, I mean, to be honest, it's actually not, there's not a particular favorite. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it going again. Um, I, I love most of the cities we visit. They're very cool. We're obviously mainly in the heart of, 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 of these massive cities. Um, so, isn't, yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Just uh, some, some circuits maybe I, I like more than others, but that's quite, quite natural. But uh, to, to, kick off, to kick off the season in Saudi at a track like that they've designed last year is, is pretty pretty wicked. So um, just excited to get started. So the biggest difference since we finished in uh, in New York um, to, to Riyadh is, is mainly our private testing. There's been quite an intense period of, 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 of testing behind the scenes before we get to our official testing period in in uh, in Valencia, and then coming the you know next the first race. Um, so yeah, I've been a lot of days on the on the sim on the simulator back at back at base. Uh, and also at, at the racetrack. So, yeah, okay, it's been off season. It had a little bit of downtime, um, which I think everyone needed after a, a, a big year. But uh, now we're all itching to get back into it. And um, yeah, everyone's pretty pumped up. My family and friends have supported me a lot um, and, and guided me you know, a huge amount since I was a youngster um, to, to get me to where I am now. Um, if it wasn't for them, I would definitely not be sitting in the seat right now. Well, being our fourth season, I think the expectations rise a little bit more. So we had some success at the back end of season five, won our first race. So I think we're going into season six with a renewed hope and ambition. Um, and I guess, you know, the championship is going from strength to strength and we'll see Porsche and uh, Mercedes-Benz coming in next year. So, yeah, exciting times for, for Jaguar in, in the electrified racing series. Our ambition's clear, come here to, to win races, uh, and uh, I think hopes, well, uh, if our, if our uh, results meet our, our ambitions, we'll have achieved our hopes, so uh, I think that's where we are. Um, I think whenever you realise uh, your ambition of actually winning a race, it galvanises uh, your belief that you're capable of doing it. You know, we had three seasons uh, where we struggled a little bit in season one uh, and got a lot closer in season two to deliver race wins. So having achieved that in uh, season five, we obviously now got a lot of self-belief that we can deliver it again. And as mentioned earlier, we're now hungry to repeat that every weekend. Fundamentally, uh, we've redesigned the entire car. As it was mentioned, there's over 900 new parts on this car. Uh, the rate of development of electric powertrains now is, is so quick uh, that we're having to go through a design cycle of every 12 months. The amount of learning that we get during a season we have to implement in the next season's car. Uh, so, you know, 
virtually an entire new car, new electric motor, new inverter, new gearbox, uh, new rear suspension. Uh, you could say almost every single part that we have influence over has been redesigned. Yeah, I think it's very exciting that we've uh, signed James. Um, I think we have to take cognizance of the fact that he is a rookie in the championship, so it will be his first season. There will be a betting in period and a learning period. Um, I think people can't underestimate how competitive this championship is in terms of the quality of drivers involved in it. Um, so, you know, our expectations uh, in the short term are slightly different to the medium term and are definitely different from the long term. Uh, long term, James is expected to come here and deliver for our race team uh, and take us to drivers and manufacturers world championships. Uh, for the medium term, we would expect to see him achieving some podiums um, and in the short term we'll give him some time just to find his way around because uh, he'll find out it's quite competitive when he gets to the first race. The preparation for any race series, people think that when one season finishes you get a, a break. Uh, you're literally into preparation for the following season. We, we finish racing in, in late July. Uh, but our next season's car is homologated in August. So we literally are straight out of a racing season into a car development and homologation process. So there is literally no downtime. Uh, between homologating the car and then rebuilding the de development car and going testing and then getting ready for the Valencia test, uh, there's a hell of a lot of work in those three months getting ready. So uh, we've been flat out and, and we'll be ready for, for season six. I think it's massive for Formula E, but I think it's even bigger for Jaguar. With Jaguar being a British brand, uh, there'd be nothing better than having a race in, in London, get the opportunity to bring uh, all their employees who have an interest in Formula E, which I believe is the majority of them now, uh, that we've managed to win a race, and they'll be able to come to London and see us live, and hopefully we can uh, deliver for them on that, in that event in London. So yes, we're here today in Gaydon in Warwickshire. This is the home of Jaguar Land Rover Engineering and we've launched Panasonic Jaguar Racing, our season four car here in the Jaguar Design Center. So only launched last week um, and the home of all our future new Jaguar cars. We can expect to see an even more competitive season this year. Last year, multiple winners in the championship came down to the last race in New York. And this year, two new manufacturers joined the championship, Porsche and Mercedes. So of the total of 12 teams, nine manufacturers and some of the world's best racing teams in the championship, uh, along with the best drivers. So even another level of competition. So it should be great for not only fans, but as race teams, it means uh, victory will, will mean even more. So we've been really pragmatic since returning to the sport three years ago. We've always had a very kind of clear plan. And this fourth year back in the sport, likewise, again, you know, we've, our first year was about just learning to compete. Our second year was about competing. Our third year was about competing for podiums. And we did that last year. So for next year, it's basically having learned how to win last year with our first win and our first podiums. It's about achieving more of that, more points, more podiums and more wins. And having tasted champagne, we're really hungry for more. That first win in Rome for us was you know, a real vindication as a group, as a team. We really can compete right at the front and, and win races. And, and that, that boost of confidence is, um, is incredibly important. You, know, you talk about being a team that is capable of winning, but once you are winning, once you are achieving podiums, the confidence that brings for the team um, is, is immeasurable. Um, and that's kind of what last season was for, was for us, a really important foundation year that hopefully puts us on a platform for, a, for our best season to date. So a big difference between the iType 3 and iType 4, in fact, for every year we've been in Formula E, we've introduced a brand new powertrain. So in four years, this is our fourth new powertrain, um, which means we've developed a new electric motor, a new inverter, a new rear casing, all our new rear suspension that goes into that, and, and indeed a next step of our software that controls the car. Um, for us, it's about leaving no stone unturned because in a championship where it is so close and so competitive, you have to make big steps as, as big as you can in order to, as a team like us, who's newer back into the sport, we have to catch up and pass. So we have to make big steps and hence, yet again, we've put a huge amount of effort into an all new car this year. Yes, it's fantastic to announce that James Collado joins the team alongside Mitch Evans. Um, a difficult choice for us, you know, we wanted we want two drivers that can get as many points for the team. Our obviously goal is to, to be successful in the team championship as well as the drivers championship. Um, but James brings a huge amount of speed, a lot of natural raw speed, which is critical informally with our one lap qualifying 
format. Um, he's also had a very successful junior career, so a driver that has a lot of experience um, in dealing with high pressure situations and complex race strategy. And he combines that experience and that strategy with raw pace. And we believe he has the potential to be a, an absolute front runner in this championship. And we hope we give him the right tools to, to, to go on and achieve that. Being the first premium brand in Formula E and the first uh, British manufacturer in Formula E, having London come on the calendar for us is a really, really kind of exciting step. You know, since we've joined the championship, there hasn't been a, a race in the UK. So we're incredibly proud to be able to race in front of our, our home fans and also our employees. You know, uh, Jaguar Land Rover employs a lot of people in the United Kingdom and it's great that you know, many of those employees will be able to come and enjoy and see us racing. And for myself and the team, we want to do the best job possible for our, our home fans and our colleagues. Last year was the first year of the new Jaguar I-Pace e Trophy, the main support championship to the ABB FI Formula E. Um, it was a great year, a pivotal year for us, pioneering um, electric racing with a production car, a car you can buy in the showroom, proving its performance and capability on track. So for a world first for us here at Jaguar and something we were very proud of. Well, it's been fantastic to be able to launch Panasonic Jaguar Racing today here in the new Jaguar Design Center. Um, this new facility here in Gaydon houses just over 13,000 engineers um, and designers, people that are developing the future products for Jaguar and for Land Rover. Um, having these incredible facilities are really important for a company like us to maintain a leadership position um, and to build the next generation of, of Jaguars and Land Rovers, which can compete with some of the best cars in the world. And cars like the, the Jaguar I Pace World Car of the Year shows we're a company that has that capability. And with facilities like we have here now in Gaydon, um, it's a really exciting future ahead. Joining such a prestigious uh, brand manufacturer, it's really amazing. I feel like it's a dream come true. And um, I think working with them so far, it's been really, really good. And um, going forward, I think the car is very competitive and I think we can get some really good results and uh, hopefully a few wins and championships. I think the transition to Formula E is, is I think anything any driver would do it at, at this moment purely because the championship is such a high level. Um, there are manufacturers, there are top drivers in this series and I think as a driver I want to be part of that and show that I can compete with these guys um, for race wins. So that was the main thing, and obviously it's a new challenge. It's, a, it's kind of a fresh challenge and um, something I really can't wait to get started on. I think settling in has been no problem at all, and Mitch is a superb uh, guy off the track and obviously a very, very quick driver on track. This is perfect for me because he's a great reference. Um, since that win in Rome last year, he's, um, you know, he's got better and better, and that's just helping me all the time. Um, I'm learning a lot still from Mitch, I think, and um, yeah, I think eventually we're going to be, you know, pushing ourselves, which is great for, great for the team and great for everyone around us. So um, yeah, can't wait, and uh, you know, we're, we're good friends. For my first season in Formula E, I've got to be realistic, obviously. It's going to take some time to get to grips with all these new tracks that I've never been on. Uh, the way the format runs, the one-day format, is all completely new. In terms of speed, I think we're there or thereabouts. I won't know until until obviously I get to Saudi, but um, that's going to be the biggest challenge. And obviously the whole energy management side of things is something I'm not used to. This is something that Panasonic Jaguar Racing are really helping me with. Um, their experience and intelligence, should I say, are, are supreme. And I think I'll be there within you know a few races at least. To win the ch title would be amazing. Uh, to win races would be amazing. Um, as a driver, I need that mentality. Otherwise, if we didn't have it, obviously I wouldn't be, wouldn't be where I am now. It's a different championship, it's a different car. It's a single seater for a start. I'm used to, to, to GTs, which have uh, got two seats. So um, in that respect, very different, but actually the GT in terms of driving style, grip levels, downforce levels, even power, are very similar. So I think that's why I've adapted quickly and that's uh, something that the team have seen in, in my driving so far. So I'm preparing a lot for the first race in uh, Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. There's going to be a lot of simulator days. Uh, there's a few more tests. We've got our official tests in Valencia coming up. So I'll primarily work on my weaknesses in these tests and um, you know, train, keep physically fit as much as I can. And um, yeah, preparation is everything in this game. I think all the races in Formula E are, are awesome. 
very good to watch. But I think for me, London, the double header, is going to be something special to, to, to myself and also for Panasonic Jaguar Racing. I think that's going to be our home race and to, to, to get a good result there would be uh, an awesome achievement. My family uh, have supported me a lot. Uh, my partner, uh, I've got a two-year-old daughter. Um, you know, the time away from home isn't easy for them, but they've got full support and obviously I need to do a good job for them as well as myself.